As you are watching this right now, your brain is filling up with toxic waste. Every thought, every emotion, every decision you made today leaves behind toxic materials that are building up in your brain. Now, if there's junk, then of course, then you need to have a system to get that junk out, right? But here's where the slight problem comes about. Your brain doesn't really have a regular trash system. I mean, the rest of your body has lymph nodes, which are these glands that you can find all over your body, and they drain away waste materials. But your brain doesn't have that system. And if it doesn't clear out that waste, that waste is just going to sit there, accumulating over time to clog up your brain, leading to brain fog, memory loss, and eventually dementia and any sort of neurodegenerative condition. And what's even more scary is that if your brain does not get rid of this waste, those ill effects of all this mental clogging won't just happen in the last few decades of your life, it actually starts today, even as early as your late 20s or early 30s. The good news is your brain does actually have a secret weapon up its sleeve, but the bad news? most of us aren't using it so well. Welcome to the amazing world of the glymphatic system. What's so incredible is that our brains had the system all along and scientists literally only discovered it just over a decade ago in 2012. And the cornerstone of the system and why it's called the glymphatic system is because the main players in the system are your glial cells. And these guys are like your brain's cleanup crew. During the day, you're making all sorts of decisions and doing everything you can to well, stay alive. And as that's happening, you are just accumulating all sorts of nonsense toxic waste in your brain. All sorts of abnormal proteins like tau protein and amyloid beta. Names you can't even pronounce. Names of proteins that eventually cause devastating neurodegenerative diseases. You see, while we're asleep, our cells in our brains actually start to shrink down, leaving some space for your glymphatic system to flood the entire brain with a special fluid called cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF. And the CSF basically flows over your blood vessels across your brain, flushing out all the toxins that are built during the day. But here's the catch. Not all sleep is created equal and your glymphatic system is 60% more active when you're in deep non-REM sleep. So what does all of that mean? Well, firstly, REM sleep or REM sleep is that stage of sleep where you're just about to fall asleep and you know, if you watch somebody falling asleep, you could see their eyes moving around very fast. That's when they're in the stage of REM sleep. Going deeper than that, you eventually enter into a stage called non-REM sleep. This is the deepest stage of sleep that you can attain. And that's the problem today because we hardly ever enter into this state anymore. Most of us sacrifice our sleep for parties or studying late into the night in college. And on top of that, we drug ourselves silly on coffee and all sorts of caffeinated products that drastically decrease the quality and depth of your sleep. Because the lighter your sleep, the more annoyed the glymphatic system becomes because those glial cell guys just never get a chance to work. And so what happens? Every single day, you're just adding more and more abnormal proteins in your brain until one fine day you just can't function at all so the first and most important thing that you should do is change your mindset to prioritize deep sleep every single night because without sleep there's no other way you're going to really flush out those toxins in your brain but here's a tip that's actually going to make your sleep and your glymphatic system quality even better it was a very interesting study in 2015 in the journal of neuroscience that actually found that the position in which you sleep also plays a role in your glymphatic system and your toxic waste clearance. In fact, they found that your left lateral position and sleeping in that position maximize the chances of getting rid of waste materials through your glymphatic system. Isn't that amazing? And lastly, what we've also found is hydration is key for your glymphatic system to work because, well, it uses cerebrospinal fluid, which has extremely high concentrations of water. So the more dehydrated you are, the weaker your glymphatic system is going to be. So come on, guys, today, tell your friends and yourself that you're going to get the glymphatic system and those little glial cell buddies of yours on your side. And how you're going to do that is by making their job easier. Number one, by prioritizing deep rest every single night at least seven to nine hours to allow for that deep state of non-REM sleep to improve the chances of your glymphatic system clearing as much toxic waste as possible. And just to tip the scales more in your favor, start sleeping on your left lateral position. And then very important, keep hydrated. 
And here's perhaps the most important thing. Avoid things that are going to disrupt either the length or the quality of your sleep. It's always best to cut out any products with caffeine that would potentially disrupt your sleep. But I'll definitely have a more detailed video on the perfect sleep hygiene routine coming right up in the next couple of videos. But for now, take a moment to really appreciate this amazing system that has been secretly built into all of our brains that so many people are overlooking. And working in neurology every day, coming across these things and sharing it with you is what I love to do. So join me on this journey to building a better brain together and click right here to find out about another secret system that might make you just a lot more productive. I'll see you there.